Hey guys, my name is Em and welcome back to the start of a brand new weekly reading vlog. Today is Tuesday the 1st of February and I love that I'm starting a new vlog on the start of a new month. It just feels so refreshing. It is officially spring now. I don't actually have a huge TBR for this week. I mean, I have loads of books that I want to get through but I don't really know what I want to read right now. So I'm going to show you my tentative TBR but it's not really set in stone and I could definitely change it. Also, we just got the call that tomorrow people are coming to fumigate our entire house and they're coming at like eight o'clock in the morning and we need to be gone from the house for the whole day but so does Misty so I'm going to be walking down the streets from my house to my grandparents house at eight o'clock in the morning carrying my cat and you know what that's kind of iconic of me so yeah that's tomorrow I am a little bit stressed about it because we have to cover every single item in our house so that is my plan for the evening I don't really think I'm going to get any reading done this evening I'm going to give you my little tentative TBR right now and then we're going to talk more about my plans for the week okay so last night I decided to pick up a book because I was kind of like I didn't know what I wanted to read and when I don't know what I want to read I tend to read nothing but when I know what I want to read I read so fast which is why I read 20 books in January but the book that I picked up last night was Twisted Love by Anna Huang this is the first book in the trilogy slash series I'm not really sure the third one just came out and all I know is that this is a brother's best friend romance I don't know how I feel so far because I'm literally two chapters in the brother is going to study abroad for a year he's asked the grouchy best friend to look after his sister while he's gone and we all know what's gonna happen so I am actually quite excited to read this book I've heard a lot of good things about it I'm not expecting this to be like phenomenal or anything the main reason that I picked this up is because our main guy is called Alex Volkov and it just reminds me of Ivan Lukov from from Luke Off With Love and I'm still reeling from that book. So that's why I picked this up. Alex's uncle is called Ivan Volkov and to me that is just so similar to Ivan Lukov. Like Ivan Volkov, Ivan Lukov same thing same person so I'm already obsessed with this book. Then another book on the TBR is Imagine Me by Tahira Mafi. This is the final book in the Shatter Me series which I've been reading since like 2019 but I finished Defy Me like two nights ago and I desperately want to finish this series now because I'm so close. But what I've discovered is I actually love the audiobooks of this series. I think the audiobooks are really fast and really interesting to get through and it's just like because the writing style of this is a bit strange it definitely makes it faster to get through on audio so I think that's what I'm going to do and I'm so excited to finally be finishing this series. I can't wait to see how it ends up. It's gonna just be absolutely crazy. I know that. This next book I'm not actually sure if I want to read yet but it is Crescent City by Sarah J Maas or House of Earth and Blood. The reason that I want to reread this is because the second book comes out on the 15th of this month and to be quite honest with you I don't really remember everything from this book. I remember like the main events kind of but I don't even remember what they were fighting for so I desperately do need to reread this. However it's 800 pages and I'm just not somebody who likes to reread books. Like i really wish I was because I love the idea of rereading books. I always want to but I just never go through with it for some reason. I could think of a scene in here that I don't want to read and then suddenly I don't want to pick up the book. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to get to this considering it is Tuesday already. I'm not sure but this will just be kind of like a chill read throughout the next like week or two until the second book comes out because I do want to finish it before then and yeah that is kind of my TBR for this week I'm not sure how many of these I will get to I got a book in the post today that I'm going to show you right now I got The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren this book looks so good and I literally couldn't resist it because it was on sale for like three pound on Amazon but I'm so excited to read this I feel like February is just the month of romances and rom-coms I'm definitely a seasonal reader so hopefully I will get to this as well and it is really not that long so yeah, I'm not really sure yet what books I'm going to be reading or how many books I'm going to get through and I'm so excited to get into my February reading but I'm not really sure if I'm going to manage to read as much this month as I did last month but yeah so my plan for the evening is to just like cover everything in my house but yeah that is all I have to say for right now welcome to the vlog I'm so excited to spend this week with you and I will talk to you later with some more reading updates hi besties okay so it is now Thursday and I wanted to give you a reading update so I actually have not really been reading that much this week at all as I was saying when I opened the vlog that yesterday we actually couldn't be in our house at all because we were getting it like fumigated and stuff but yeah so I was really tired yesterday also I have been filming today 
today for the past like two hours I filmed two videos but I wanted to give you a reading update because the book that I'm currently reading is Twisted Love by Anna Huang and I am not really liking it I know that's quite an unpopular opinion because there's a lot of hype for this series which is the reason that I asked for the physical copies for Christmas because I thought I was gonna love it I'm currently 50 pages in and so far I don't really have anything positive to say about it I'm not finding it great I think the interactions between the characters are very cringy and very weird and like stilted we basically have our main character Ava Chen and our love interest Alex Volkov and basically the premise of this book is that Ava's brother Josh is moving away to study abroad for a year and he asks his friend who is a known grump Alex Volkov to just keep an eye on his sister while he's gone just like you know keep an eye on her which is a fairly normal request I think and I was like this is perfect you know like this is like a nice brother's best friend protective guy it's gonna be great however it's very odd and that's literally the only way that I can describe this book like we're 40 pages in and he is already ready to kill for her ready to die for her ready to absolutely murder anybody who looks at her the wrong way and not even like in a cute way because they've only had like one interaction and this is all coming from like inside his own head in her chapter she's not even thinking about him like it's literally just on his end and like he has installed security cameras in her house he has like signed her up for martial arts classes and i know that those don't even sound like bad things but the way this is written makes it seem really creepy and also he texted her she didn't respond and he drove to her house grabbed her best friend put her best friend in the car drove to where she was working and she's a photographer and she was basically like modeling and he stopped that he stopped it he said you don't get to do that he deleted all the pictures that was taken of her he dragged her out of there and was like oh my god how did josh look after her all these years and i'm like Josh asked you to keep an eye on her. He didn't ask you to like fucking stalk her and like drag her out of her workplace. Like I don't understand what's happening. And like she's 22. I don't know why she needs looking after. Like there's not a reason that she needs looking after. It was literally just the brothers being like keep an eye on her. It's very weird. I'm not really liking it. And like one part of me wants to DNF this and just say adios, like never come back to it. But the other half of me wants to keep reading because it is quite short and I want to like see if it gets better but I don't know I will update you but I have some editing to do right now and I'm gonna have lunch and then I might read some this evening but it's just it's a really weird book and like we're 40 pages in and this is all happening within the first like six chapters and I don't really understand why this is happening like why is he literally stalking the girl like what is happening there's a difference between protectiveness and possessiveness I really enjoy protective love interests I think it's amazing I think that's so fun to read about but possessive love interests absolutely not and this is definitely like a whole other level of possessiveness i've not really read a lot this week at all but i will hopefully be reading a lot more today and tomorrow and then i'm gonna do like a readathon this weekend i think <laughs> Okay, so it is now 6.30 and I've just sat down for a while so that I could read but I've decided to pick up Twisted Love again and I've literally read one more page and I'm already cringing like I can't get through more than one page of this and I want to push through I want to finish it I want to actually read this book but it's just not good and I don't know if it's going to get better. With From Luke Off With Love I wasn't loving it towards the start but I was so glad that I pushed through which is why I want to continue with this but I literally can't get through one single page or like one passage of writing without rolling my eyes like it is that bad because my reading has been amazing for 2022 so far and I really don't want to like ruin that by reading shitty books and like not DNFing so I might DNF. I think I might try to get to chapter 10 that's my goal. I'm gonna get to chapter 10 right now and then I'll make my decision. Okay, so it is now 12.40 in the night and I should definitely be sleeping. But I'm here, I'm reading Twisted Love because I decided that I kind of want to read this and finish it and kind of like hate read it honestly because I'm not liking it and something that I've picked up about this book is like that the chapters are not connected in any way like in the previous chapter that I just read we followed Ava in this bar and like something that was happening there and then in the next chapter she's at this big like gala with Alex and like 
there was no lead up to this i don't know what the gala is like where has that whole chapter gone what is happening like the chapters are not connected at all that's all i have to say for right now every single scene reminds me of like a badly made netflix movie hi besties so it is now friday and it is about 6 p.m i've just gotten home from the cinema i brought my sister to see sing 2 it was so good and it was just so wholesome she was so excited because she didn't know that she was gonna get to go to the cinema after school so it was a complete surprise and we had the best time so now i've just gotten home but i wanted to give you a reading update really quickly so i am continuing reading twisted love it is getting a little bit more tolerable not much like it's still quite cringe i don't think it's an amazing book by any means but it is okay and it's an extremely fast read i was reading for a while this morning and i literally read up to page 265 so i only have like a tiny tiny bit left so i'm definitely gonna finish that tonight honestly i think i'm gonna end the vlog once i finish this book because i'm gonna do a 24 hour readathon tomorrow but yeah that is all i wanted to say i will get back to you later hi besties okay it is now just after 11 p.m on friday night and i have just finished twisted love by anna huang and i hated it I really hate when I don't like a book, especially one that I had such high hopes for. Like when I read a book that I'm not expecting to like, I don't really mind when it disappoints. But I had such high hopes for this and like all the way through the book I had high hopes for it, but it never improved. It never reached that like good point. Honestly, I'm between giving this book a one or a two star, which is extremely low for me. Like I usually rate all of my books like four or five stars. Yes, yeah, so a one or a two star is quite drastic. If you love her books, I'm so glad that you love her books and I really wish I did too, but this just wasn't for me and there's so many things that I have to mention that I just didn't like about it. I don't know where this book comes in her publishing journey, if this was one of her first books ever. I don't know, but if it isn't, I don't think I vibe with her writing at all because it was the literal definition of telling us rather than showing us. Like literally half of this book was just telling us things that happened without actually bringing us through those scenes. Like I don't think that there was any sort of imagery in this book like i don't want to get all critical on it and anything like that but it was just the weirdest book because it just it was not interesting at all and i just i couldn't follow along with the writing like it was a fast read i'll give it that it was a very fast read like i started out today on page 150 and i read the whole rest of the book but that doesn't make up for anything the characters are awful i really didn't like either of the characters but they're so like two-dimensional like they're not well-developed characters like everything in this book seems underdeveloped like the characters underdeveloped the plot absolutely far-fetched and ridiculous the writing not very good and the timelines the timelines were weird as hell because i actually don't know how long this book spanned over because it started out fine and then we like skipped a couple of years but then we didn't actually skip any years because they seemed to be in the same stage of life and the same like place but then they were like oh a year later he followed me around every day for a year like babe that's stalking i don't know how this is okay i didn't feel anything towards the relationship i didn't feel anything towards any person or plot in this book like i'm so disappointed because the premise of this book is incredible the cover i love this cover like everything about it just screams like this is gonna be a book that i'm gonna love and rave about for the rest of my life and i honestly feel like if it had been written by any other person i would have liked it but i just don't think i vibe with anna wong's writing style and i hate to say that because like i don't like not liking an author i don't like writing off an entire author but honestly if all of her books are like this book, I don't think I'm gonna like any of them. But then I kind of want to read the second book. Like the premise of it sounds so interesting. It's a princess bodyguard romance. It's literally giving me Princess Diary vibes. And I want to read it because I want that book in my life. And my brain is telling me it's gonna be great. The main character for book two is Ava's friend Bridget from this book and then her bodyguard. We actually had a lot of scenes with Bridget and her bodyguard in this book so I'm wondering is the next book just gonna be kind of like going back over what we've already read but just from a different perspective? Like am I just gonna have to read the same thing over again 
because I don't want to do that. I never want to read this again. But I started out this book tabbing it and I even wrote in it. I'm going mad that I wrote in it because I didn't like it and I hate writing in a book when I'm not like wanting to keep it. Every single chapter was like in a different place but it didn't continue from the chapter before and it never went back to like finish off what happened in the last chapter like some of the characters that were a huge huge issue in this book just disappeared this is so shit and i'm so sorry that i'm going on this rant just to be kind i want to give it a two star but i need to let my feelings settle for a hot second because i'm so mad that i just want to give it like a zero star or a one star but also like i i don't <sighs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm actually going to end this vlog now because I finally finished the book and I actually am going to do a 24 hour readathon of reading romance books tomorrow. So I want to end this vlog right now. I only read one book this week and this was not the best start to my February reading because it was awful. But that being said, I'm really glad that I read it. I know I said I was done talking about this book, but the plot twists were awful. Like, they didn't make sense. They didn't make sense at all. And Miss Anna Huang, you are not very good at foreshadowing. It was so obvious the whole time. It was just not good. Anyways, but yeah, that is all I'm going to say about that book. I only read one book this week, but honestly, that's okay because I was just enjoying the week. Comment the blue heart emoji if you watch to the end. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay amazing, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.